Well, this is what's been frustrating to many of us in Congress, where there is consensus to extend the Paycheck Protection Program to help small businesses, which kept 51 million workers across this country had a paycheck coming in over the summer. Extend and compromise on the unemployment compensation issue. That's a key issue. Give our governors flexibility to spend the money that we've already provided the governors, including making significant broadband investments uh, after December 31st. These are the things that there's consensus on, support for schools. And perhaps, as President Trump's asked, uh, an additional $1,200 for families. And all that, Katie, has been held up in these negotiations that you just referenced between Speaker Pelosi and Secretary Mnuchin, with her asking for things that are not COVID-related. She wants 16 years old, 16 year olds to be registered to vote. She wants to give high income earners in New York and California a tax break. She wants to have some elements of the Green New Deal included in the bill. And what we need to be focused on are these core elements, help for families, help for small businesses, help for our governors. And it's a much more narrow amount of money than 2.2 or $2.4 trillion in the HEROES Act. You know, Democrats have come down by almost a trillion dollars to try and meet Republicans. Uh, when you're talking about the Paycheck Protection Program, by the way, there were a lot of problems with how that was distributed. A lot of business owners saying, small business owners saying for some reason they didn't qualify. There are also a lot of businesses out there who said it frankly didn't make sense for their business because they weren't able to open up in the same way as before. A lot of hospitality uh, businesses were right. feeling that. Do you honestly think that that's enough to, to get people back in shape? And do you honestly think that $1,200 is enough to keep people going for the next who knows how long while this pandemic is still raging? Well, all these items are important, including the health care benefits that were in the CARES Act. The $1,200 is helpful. But on your specific comments about the PPP program, some of those things have changed. It's now a five year loan, it's now at a lower rate. It now can be spent over 24 weeks. It's now offered for businesses that are still hurting that have a 25% revenue cut from 2019 levels. So the Paycheck Protection Program as proposed in the Senate bill and in House bills that we're trying to get on the floor today, blocked by Mrs. Pelosi, has those changes in it that is severely and desperately wanted by millions of workers working for small businesses in the country. And I think it would be very helpful at this stage of the economy reopening.